CompTIA A plus Core 1, 220-1101, Practice PBQs. This video is part of our PBQ video series and is filled with information that will help you tackle some of CompTIA's challenging performance-based questions. In this particular video, we will be discussing laser printers. Laser printers are a common printer type found in various environments, ranging from homes to offices and commercial settings. Laser printers are known for their speed, precision, and ability to handle high-volume printing tasks, making them ideal for environments requiring efficient and reliable printing solutions. However, they are generally more complex than other printer types, making them a perfect topic for exam questions. To be able to answer questions and troubleshoot issues related to laser printers, you must first understand how they work. The functionality of a laser printer revolves around the print imaging process, which consists of several stages or phases. These phases include processing, charging, exposing, developing, transferring, fusing, and cleaning. Now, I will briefly explain this process step by step, along with common issues that can arise with each step. First up, processing. The printing process begins with the digital data being loaded into the printer's onboard memory. The data is converted into a format that the printer can interpret and use to create the desired output. Here you need to watch out for insufficient memory. With laser printing, the entire job must be loaded into the printer's memory before printing can begin. If the print job is too large to fit into the printer's memory, the print job will not execute properly. The next step is charging. In the charging phase, the photosensitive drum or imaging drum gets ready to capture the image you want to print. In the charging stage, the drum is uniformly charged with static electricity. This prepares the drum, almost like priming a canvas before painting on it. Issues during the charging phase will result in poor quality printouts. After charging, the next step is exposure. In the exposure phase, things get really interesting. Imagine the drum inside the printer, waiting patiently with its static electricity, all charged up from the previous stage. Now it's time for the real magic to happen. Picture this, a laser beam in the printer acts like a spotlight. This spotlight shines onto the charged photosensitive drum, removing the static charge wherever it shines, creating a kind of secret, invisible image of what you want to print on the surface of the photosensitive drum. Issues during the exposure phase will also result in poor quality printouts. Now it is time for the developing phase. In this phase, the electrostatic image created during the exposing phase is transformed into a visible image on the drum. Here's how it works. Once the electrostatic image is formed on the drum, tiny particles of toner, which are positively charged, are attracted to the negatively charged areas of the drum where the image resides. It's like a magnetic attraction. Wherever there's a negative charge on the drum, the positively charged toner particles stick to it, forming the image. In other words, the toner particles fill in the invisible outline created during the exposing phase, making the image visible on the drum's surface. Here we need to be on the lookout for toner cartridges that are running low or are empty, resulting in faded printouts. Moving on, we get to the transfer phase. During this step, the developed toner image on the drum is transitioned onto the paper. As the paper moves past the drum, the toner particles leave the drum and are attracted to the positively charged surface of either the transfer belt or the transfer roller. This process is similar to a stamp transferring ink onto paper, except in this case, it involves toner. If the transfer roller is worn or damaged, this phase will lead to poor quality printouts and inconsistent printer performance. Now don't think that we're all finished just because we've transferred the toner powder to the paper. To complete the print imaging process, we will need to take an extra step called fixing or fusing to ensure the toner image is firmly bonded to the paper's surface. 
To achieve this, the paper heads into a part of the printer called the fuser assembly. Inside, it meets a pair of heated rollers. These rollers apply heat and pressure to the paper, effectively melting the toner particles. As they melt, they fuse into the fibers of the paper, creating a permanent bond. Once the paper exits the fuser assembly, the toner image is now firmly fixed onto the paper. This ensures that the printout is durable and won't smudge or smear easily, unless the fuser assembly is not functioning correctly. In the final step of the laser printing process, we reach the cleaning phase. After the toner image has been successfully transferred and fused onto the paper, it's important to ensure that any remaining toner on the photosensitive drum is removed. This helps maintain print quality and prevents contamination in future print jobs. During the cleaning phase, a cleaning blade or brush delicately removes any excess toner from the drum surface. This ensures that the drum is clean and ready for the next printing cycle. If we have an issue with this phase of the print imaging process, we will likely have double or echo images. Some other items you should be on the lookout for are paper jams. If paper jams occur frequently, inspect the pickup roller for wear or contamination, as these issues can contribute to jams. Additionally, for printers with multiple paper trays accommodating both letter and oversized legal paper, each tray typically has its own pickup roller. These rollers are responsible for feeding paper from the tray into the printer's paper path for printing. Each pickup roller operates independently based on the paper size selected for the print job. The printer's paper handling mechanisms ensure that the appropriate pickup roller is activated to feed the correct size paper from the designated tray into the printer. If pickup roller issues arise, such as frequent paper jams or misfeeds, inspecting and servicing the specific tray's pickup rollers can help resolve the issue. And with that last bit of knowledge grasped, you should now be ready to handle any PBQs about laser printers. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.